Hi, my name's Scott. And I'm Nicola. And we're here to tell you about safety on the railway. Before we start, we want to introduce you to a few of our friends who are going to help. First, there's PC Transport, our very friendly policeman, who makes sure nobody does anything wrong on or near the railway. Then, there's Mr. Railtrack. He looks after the tracks and signals the trains. Annie the Pacer, who takes lots of people from place to place. And her friend, Doug the Diesel, who's always in a hurry, but always safe. And last but not least, Tracker, keeping a friendly eye on what's going on. Lesson one. Never go on the railway track. Penny the Pacer was off to the station to pick up some passengers. She was in a hurry. I don't want to be late. Lots of people are depending on me. But some way ahead, far out of sight, Two children were sitting on a fence, looking at the railway. It seemed like an exciting place to explore, and they couldn't see any trains coming, so they decided to go for a walk down the track. Nearby, Mr. Railtrack had been inspecting the railway. He knew Penny was coming, so he was waiting by the fence. When he saw the children, he called for them to get out of the way. Oi! But they couldn't hear him. Penny was getting closer and closer. As she came round the bend, she suddenly saw the children, but she was travelling very, very quickly, and very quietly. Mr. Railtrack called again, but they still couldn't hear him. Why? Penny put her brakes on and beeped her horn very loudly. That instant, the children looked behind them and saw Penny. She couldn't stop in time. They jumped off the track just as Penny went screeching by. Mr. Railtrack rushed forward. You should never go on the railway tracks. It's a very dangerous place. The line may loop clear, but a train could come along at any time. You could be hurt if you don't get off the line in time. The children were very upset and promised to stay on the right side of the fence in future. Lesson two. Never put anything on the railway track. One fine day, three children were playing near a railway line when they thought it might be fun to put something on the track. They went off to see what they could find. But Tracker was nearby, and as soon as he saw what was happening, he flew off as fast as he could to find PC Transport. What's more, someone was coming along the track very fast. It was Doug the Diesel. I can't stop! I've got to pick up some trucks! The children slowly and carefully placed a branch on the line. Meanwhile, Tracker had reached the police station. He told PC Transport what was happening and they both rushed off to help. As they arrived, they could hear something on the line. Doug the Diesel was rushing towards the branch very quickly. Just at that moment, Tracker swooped down and grabbed the branch from the line. Doug rushed past. The branch had been moved just in time. The children felt very ashamed of what they had done. PC Transport was very cross and spoke sternly to them. You must never put anything on a railway line. I thought it would be okay, because it was only a small branch. No, it doesn't matter what size it is. It is dangerous to put anything on the track. The train could come off the rails, and the people on board could be hurt or even killed. And I don't think you'd like it if you or your friends were on the train. The children agreed and promised not to do it again. Lesson 3. Never throw anything at trains. One day, Penny the Pacer was driving along the line when she felt something hit her. Ouch! What was that? She stopped to see what had happened when suddenly she saw some children throwing stones at her. Penny was hurt and couldn't go on with her journey. She had always been very proud of her lovely shiny paint and sparkling windows, but the stones had smashed all the glass and put deep scratches along her side. A lady who was travelling on the train was badly injured. She had to go to hospital for stitches because the glass from a broken window had cut her face. Just then, PC Transport and Mr. Railtrack arrived to sort things out. What you've done is very serious. You've caused a lot of damage, frightened all the passengers and made the train late. We didn't think anyone would notice. It's such a big, fast train. Stones can easily break the glass and the sharp edges can cut people or hurt their eyes. Come down to the police station with me, and I'll show you how you should behave near the railway. All the passengers were late home, and Penny couldn't go out until all the damage had been mended. It cost a lot of money, and the children's parents were very angry for all the trouble they caused. 
lesson four. Never play near the railway. One fine windy day, a boy was flying his kite next to the railway line. Doug the Diesel was nearby talking to Tracker. When they saw the boy, they noticed his kite was flying close to some wires over the track. Then the wind started to swirl, and the kite blew out of the boy's hand. Suddenly there was a flash and a loud bang. The boy was very upset. He didn't know what had happened. Some trains need electricity to go. Sometimes it's carried in the track. Other times it's in wires over the line. If you get too close, the electricity can jump, and you can be electrocuted. The kite had been very badly burned. It was lucky the boy had let go of it. Otherwise, he could have been burnt too. You can easily be hurt if you are careless or behave badly on the railway. Even if you don't think anyone's seen you being naughty, they could have. So remember the four golden rules. Never go on the railway track. Never put anything on the railway track. Never throw anything at trains. Never play near the railway. And most importantly, play, play it safe. safe.